120. OC is armed. FCS count started. EDS ascent. EDS armed and ready means the emergency detection system is now armed. One and minute. that basically just means Rock that if it detects data. something, it will range trigger green. the abort system on Starliner and fire range automatically. PLP the spacecraft started. would push itself far up and away from the rocket. We're talking a mile up and a mile out in just a matter of seconds. We certainly don't expect to see that today. 40. Alice at light press. Thirty. Thirty seconds. Centaur at flight press. Vehicles now pressurized for flight. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. All systems are go for liftoff. Go Starliner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. We have confirmation of a good MET epic timer on Starliner. Roll program. Uh, Already ready. Is now throttling down to maintain the crew acceptable dynamic position pressure and on the crew on board today. This is the first planned throttle down for Atlas in preparation for Max Q. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Right now, atmospheric forces are the highest Starliner Atlas will face during the uphill climb. Mach 1, Atlas 5 and Starliner are now supersonic. Fecal now throttling up. Up, ne up next in about 20 seconds, Starliner's two solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. And we have burnout on both SRBs. Good crew module forward link connection. Already ready is throttling back up to full thrust. Now that we pass the solid rocket booster burnout, you'll soon see those two solid rocket boosters separate from the vehicle. Atlas V now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. And we have indication of SRB jettison. Atlas continues to ascend using solely the RD-180 engine. That's about 850,000 pounds of, of thrust at sea level. Already ready is throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Teams here on the ground confirming Starliner has a good trajectory. We're now two minutes and 55 seconds into today's flight. Flying at an altitude of 56 kilometers. Our next throttle down will be to control acceleration forces, uh, limit forces on the crew to be below 4 Gs. That is safe for an extended period of time. One minute remaining in this burn. One minute to Biko. 
Already when it is now throttling to maintain 3.5 G acceleration on the vehicle. Starliner flying off the uh, east coast at this point at uh, altitude of 80 kilometers now, moving at a rate of 1,187 miles per hour. It's just passing North Carolina and Virginia off the northeastern seaboard. For those of you watching along the coastline, you might be able to see this launch. And we have Pico booster engine cutoff. We have successful sta success staging. Pre-start on the RL-10s. Pico engine cutoff. We have ignition on both RL-10s. Centaur is now gone to closed loop steering. Just passed through several milestones. Teams here on the teams here on the ground reporting that all are looking good. Ascent cover jettison there that provided that and aerodynamic air structure jettison. to the top of Starliner, protecting the docking equipment during ascent. And now that Starliner and Centaur are free of the atmosphere, well into the vacuum of space, that aeroskirt has been jettisoned. Now six minutes into today's launch, Starliner continuing to accelerate up the North American coast. Everything going smoothly so far. Starliner and Centaur have been ticking through their ascent milestones right on track, including the booster stage separation, Centaur ignition, and aeroskirt jettison. A number of status calls we'll be listening for in the next several minutes, but if all continues to go well, the next major milestone to watch out for is the main engine cutoff when Starliner will be officially in space. We heard a report from uh, ULA's team. We had a, a little bit of an overperformance on the booster, but the, that's a good thing. Centaur is more than capable of adjusting on the fly in its closed loop performance. Centaur pressures are stable. Centaur looks good. Flight control teams are all 